Are you worried your RV batteries won't make it through the night? Well, I may have a solution for you in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone, my name's Patrick and if this is your first time here at Travels with Delaney, welcome. We're your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. Now, if you have an RV and you're worried that maybe your house batteries would not make it through the night if you were off the grid, but you don't really want to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your battery system or buy a generator or a solar generator, well, I may have a solution for you that's going to be much more affordable and be more practical for maybe that one night um, boondocking experience. So. The product is right here. Now, normally I don't do unboxing videos because, you know, a lot of times people say, I don't want to watch you take it out of the box. But I thought it was really important that we go ahead and unbox this one because this is another Blue Eddy product. Now, I recently reviewed the AC200P uh, solar generator from Blue Eddy, and I will link that video at the end of this one. But I did not unbox that one and I was so impressed with how it came that I felt like for this one, I needed to show you. So here is the shipping box that it came in and then Blue Eddy has their product in a separate box. So I love the fact that they double box their products. Now, the product we're gonna review today is the EB70. Now. The AC200P that I had reviewed previously, we purchased that and paid full price ourselves for it. This one, Blue Eddy reached out and asked if we would review for them, and so they sent us this one, and I'm gonna share this one with you now. So, right inside, you're going to find, and let me just spin this around so you can see it, right here, you can see there's big foam up top, and there's a cart, another cardboard box. We're going to pull that out, and we'll set that aside for a minute. But this is why I wanted to do this unboxing video. So we have this really thick foam, and you can see how thick that is. And then inside we have the product. I'm going to set that down for a second. And in the bottom of this box is more of that foam. Now, the reason I wanted to go through this unboxing was just so you could see the amount of effort that Blue Eddy goes to in packaging their products to protect them during shipping. So I was just really impressed with that. And so I wanted to show it to you on that this one. Now, the other thing I noticed was, in addition, they put a plastic bag around the product, probably to keep dust or things like that out while they were shipping their products. So here it is. Here is the brand new EB70 from Blue Eddy. And we'll go through all the specs on this in just a moment. But first, we're going to go ahead and open this box that was inside. We have our paperwork. It's going to have some instructions in there for us and talk about their two-year warranty, which I love on their products. We have a charging station. And we have some cables that they sent with us. Let's just take a look here. One of the things I love about the Blue Eddies that we have, we have two products so far, and they've been consistent. They always give you these little um, Velcro ties to keep your cords together. I really like that. That way they don't go everywhere. So we have a 110 plug, and that would actually just plug right here into that. We also get MC4 connectors, so we could use that to charge with off of a solar panel, and they also give us a 12 volt charging plug. So we'll talk about charging later, but that's what you get in the box. Now, when I reviewed the AC200P, a lot of you left comments about the fact that you loved what the Blue Eddy could do, but you thought for your needs, it was maybe a little too heavy and a little too big and a little too pricey. So. This, I think, could be a good alternative. Let's start with dimensions and weight. So this weighs in at 21 pounds, and I love the fact that they have this carry handle right on top. It's really easy to pick up, move around. And as far as dimensions on this, I'm gonna go ahead, and it looks like we're at about 12 and a half across. Depth-wise, we are probably right about eight inches, and Height-wise, we are at about nine inches. So it's not gonna take up a lot of space wherever you wanna carry it. Now, you could 
carry it in an RV, you may carry this in a vehicle, um, but the nice thing is it's going to be easy to carry around at only 21 pounds. So how big is this unit in terms of power? Well, this has 716 watt hours of lithium ion phosphate battery. It's the same type of battery chemistry that we have with our expensive Battleborn batteries in our RV. This also has a built-in 700 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now that means you're going to actually be able to plug in like a normal 110 and power things um, using a normal wall plug and that's great. The other thing is when we say pure sine wave inverter, that means it's clean energy. So I don't have to worry when we plug in our electronics that it could damage them because that's what you want in an inverter. You want a pure sine wave inverter. So that's what this actually has in terms of power. The other thing that's built into this, which I think is really nice is, there is a solar charge controller, an MPPT uh, 200 watt solar charge controller built into this. So all you actually need is just a straight up solar panel. You don't need a solar charge controller because it's already built in here if you do want to charge this off of solar. So let's go ahead and talk about um, what all you have in terms of options with this. Now, I will point out before we get into the power options, one cool feature on this particular one, it's it's a flashlight. Now you might say, really Patrick, I, I have flashlights. Do I really need a flashlight built into my power source? I think it's a nice feature because let's say you were out uh, tent camping or you're outside at night and you need to find something, they have included a little flashlight right here with a couple different brightness settings and even a distress signal. So I think that's just a nice little feature. The other thing is this is all plastic. Oops, we'll go ahead and shut our distress feature off. All plastic construction. This comes currently in three colors. There's a teal, a red, and a black. They sent me the red one, which I think is really sharp. Has the black sides. On the sides you have openings for the cooling fans, which is really gonna be the only noise you're gonna hear. And they have included these nice rubber feet on the bottom so it can't move around. So I like that, it stays in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on, you're gonna see this has a really nice digital display and it's gonna tell us um, our input and our output watts and it also is gonna show us our battery level. Now it doesn't give you a percentage, it just uses that battery in 20% increments, but I think for a product this size, it works for what you need. Now, one thing I don't really like on this that I've seen other YouTubers talk about is the display goes off so quickly, and so you kinda of have to just keep hitting one of the buttons to get the display. The upside to that though is I would assume by it going off, it actually saves power because if it stays on all the time, there's gonna be some draw there with it. So let's talk about the 110. So on the 110 side, we have four 110 plugs right here. So that means we can plug anything in that you know uses a normal plug like you would in your house. And to turn on the 110 and the inverter, all we do is push and hold in and then a really small green light comes on to let us know that we're running off of 110. So that's our options there. I'm gonna go ahead and power that down. On the DC side or the 12 volt side, we can go ahead and plug, push in our button. It's gonna turn it on. And again, we can have a little green light letting us know we've turned that on. And yes, you can run both at the same time. But here are our options. First, we have the traditional cigarette lighter plug or a 12 volt plug that you would just plug in right here. And I'm gonna show you later some of the ways you can use these. I've got a great use for this. Um, here we have a couple of these smaller type plugs. My understanding is I don't really have anything that uses this style plug, but I've been told that some CPAP machines use this style plug and you have two of them right there. You then have two USB-A ports and you have two USB-C ports. Now, I'm really impressed with this. One of the things I did not like about the AC200P, the big one that I bought, is they only gave us one USB-C. Now, we use USB-C ports to charge things like our iPads and our MacBook Airs. And so, by having two of these, we can have two laptops charging at the same time, or we can have both of our iPads charging at the same time. So, that's what those are for. And then finally, right here on top, they give us one of those wireless charging pads. So if you have something that charges wirelessly like a cell phone, you can just plop it down right up here and you can charge your cell phone. So when you look at this, you have one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 different ways to actually have things plugged in for power. And you could theoretically have them all going at the same time. Now you might be asking, what is the port here at the top? This is where you're going to charge. And again, there are going to be um, basically three ways that you can charge this. And the first way is going to actually to be using this charging station or power block or whatever you want to call it. So what I would do is I would go ahead and plug this in here at home, let's say, to a 110 outlet. It's going to give me a green light letting me know I have power to it. You're going to hear a fan come on to keep this cool. And then to charge my Blue Eddy, I'm just going to go ahead and plug in right here at the top. The light's going to come on and we're going to eventually see on the input side, yep, 151 watts going in currently, 194. And I believe this charges up close to 200 watts. The other thing is right here, you can see we have the red light that tells us that um, it is actually charging. When it's fully charged, this will go back to green. A second way that we can charge is we can actually use the 12 volt. And all, again, all we have to do is plug in our 12 volt cable, and then we would plug this into a cigarette-like plug um, or a 12 volt plug. So if we're in our RV, we actually have one of those plugs. If we're off the grid, I can just plug this in and it's going to take power from our RV batteries and put it back into the Blue Eddy. So that's a second way. A third way is using these MC4 connectors that I mentioned already. Again, we're just gonna plug in and you can put up to 200 watts of solar coming in. And Blue Eddy does sell portable solar panels. Currently, I don't have any of those to demonstrate for you. It's something I would really like to eventually get because I think it would be nice. The advantage to their solar panels are they fold up into a very small package and they offer both 120 watt solar panels and 200 watt solar panels. So, you know, that would be a great addition if you thought you were gonna be someplace where you could just plug in a solar panel and let the solar come in. Now, I should mention, if you have one of those suitcase style solar panels already, it may not work for you because most of those have a solar controller on them. And then if you plug into this, this has its own solar controller, just, it's confusing and it's probably not gonna work. So what you would actually have to do is you would actually have to unconnect the solar controller on that suitcase if it's even possible and then um, wire up some MC4 connectors to plug in directly. Let's go ahead now and let's try out and see how this actually works. One area where these can be really useful is keeping your electronics charged. So I can go ahead and I could plug in our MacBook Airs, and those use a USB-C. So again, what I need to do, it's I wanna make sure I have the green light, which I do. I can go ahead and plug that in. We hear it click in, and then I'm just gonna check. Okay, and then I can also maybe charge an iPad. So I'm gonna also, that also uses a USB-C. And again, I really like the fact that there's two of these USB-C ports so I could have two things going simultaneously. Now, in terms of the USB-A's, the traditional USB's, well, for instance, my GoPro charging station for the batteries for my GoPro, that's what it uses. I can go ahead and plug that in right there. And again, a lot of this stuff I think is charged up. You can see I'm only pulling seven, eight watts because of the fact that my stuff is currently charged up. Now, I wanna charge my phone. I could just go ahead and set my phone right on top and use that wireless charging pad. So you can see there's lots of things, but here's something I'm really excited about using this Blue Eddy with. This is our electric cooler slash freezer and it came with a 12 volt plug. So I can go ahead and plug it right here and it will actually power this refrigerator slash freezer. And we'll go ahead and check how much it's currently drawing. And this thing's warm right now. It's been sitting in our garage. So it's already started cooling. And I'm gonna go ahead and unplug all of this just so we can get a reading just on this refrigerator slash freezer. And you can see it's pulling a whopping 27, 28 watts, which means 
We could literally have this in the bed of my truck while we're on travel days with the Blue Eddy, have it plugged into the Blue Eddy, and we could either keep food frozen or cold. Now, that means we could literally run this for hours, if not for possibly even a day or longer off of our Blue Eddy. And a lot of it would just depend on how we set this, whether we're gonna have it on freezer mode or, or cooler mode. I will tell you, a unit like this tends to be very energy efficient on 12 volt, which means once you get it to that temperature you want, it's not gonna draw a lot of power from it. So this is one way we're definitely gonna be using our Blue Eddy. Now let's talk about the 110 side and what we could potentially run. Now, I think the biggest question that I get from viewers in terms of things they wanna be able to run if they're off the grid, whether they're tent camping, car camping, or just in their RV but not plugged into shore power, is can I run a hair dryer and can I make my morning coffee? So with this, we're gonna go ahead and try the hair dryer. So I'm gonna turn on the 110 side. I, again, not a major complaint, but I kind of wish they would have made these little indicator lights just a little bit bigger because sometimes it is hard to tell if it's on. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the hair dryer, and I'm gonna start on low. And you should be able to see the draw. We're getting 361 watts. Remember, this is a 700 watt inverter, so no issues running this small uh, hair dryer off of low. Let's go ahead and crank it up to high. Now we're above 700 watts. How long will it run? Well, let's find out. Oh my gosh, Blue Eddie, you're a beast. Over seven minutes running that hair dryer on high at over 730 watts. Now understand not all hair dryers are the same. Um, this is one that we purchased specifically for using in our RV because it uses lower watts. The hair dryer that my wife has here at the house, it takes a lot more. I think I wanna say it goes up to like 1500 watts. So you might wanna, if you're looking to use a hair dryer with something like this, you might wanna consider buying um, a smaller one just for travel. So hair dryer, absolutely. What about coffee? Could we make our morning coffee using our Blue Eddy? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna plug in this little um, five cup Capresso drip coffee maker, and let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and get my screen back up. So 549, 548. So that's under the 700, which tells me we're definitely gonna be able to make the morning coffee. Now, can you make it with any coffee maker? Probably not, for instance, I have a Nespresso coffee maker. That requires a lot more power, and so it will not run a Nespresso just because of the amount of watts it needs. But with a small drip coffee maker like this, we're gonna be able to brew our morning pot of coffee. So how loud is the Blue Eddy? Well, I'm gonna go silent for a second because both fans are on right now and the coffee maker is dripping. Let's see if you can hear it. Super quiet, isn't it? So unlike if you were gonna run a gas generator where you would hear that running outside of your RV, with this you can have it right in your RV and you're not even gonna notice the two cooling fans keeping it cool. So what's this Blue Eddy EB70 going to cost you? Well, the current retail price on this as of this recording is $599, which is an amazing price. And it comes with a great warranty. Blue Eddy gives you a two year warranty on this and it's rated for 2,500 cycles. Now, what does that mean? That means you could charge this every day for the next six and a half years, and at the end of that six and a half years, you can still use this unit up to 80% of its battery capacity. So this thing can be a workhorse for you for a really long time. Huge shout out to Blue Eddy, and thank you for allowing me to try out this EB70 and share it with all of you. I really appreciate them uh, sending it to us, and I'm excited to use this all summer long as we're out RVing for eight weeks. You can follow along in our travels right here on Travels with Delaney and on our other channel, TWD Life, if you wanna see any of our products in action as we go RVing. Until next time, everyone, we'll see ya on down the road. Good night.